All right, I know, I know. When it comes to fusion, it can be a little scary, a little intimidating. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there's just so much to learn. And like, sometimes I just don't even know what to do in fusion, right? I've got an idea, but I have no idea how to accomplish that. So we're going to start out with just an easy fusion tutorial here today, guys. It's one that I use all the time. It's when I want to take this video that you see right now, and I want to throw it down into the bottom corner of the screen so I can talk about DaVinci Resolve. You can see myself on the screen as well as DaVinci Resolve. And I use fusion to make this effect. It's really easy. It's actually just one node, if you want. You can only use one node, that's all you really need. So let's jump into Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to do it and maybe you can just get your feet wet here in Fusion and maybe this is even something that you could use in some of your videos. All right, let's head on over to Fusion and don't be scared, don't worry, we got this. It's easy, this one is easy, let's go. So in Resolve here, I've got my clip in the timeline and we're gonna make the little window that you see me in right now in Fusion. Super easy. So we are in the edit tab currently. So whatever project you got going on, if you're in the edit tab, we're going to jump over into Fusion. Don't be scared. Here we go. Fusion down at the bottom here. Go ahead and click on the Fusion icon. Now, when we're in Fusion here, I'm actually just going to come and reset my UI layout. So hopefully we're all looking at the same thing and it blows it up on the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and just resize that to get it back on our screen. All right. So Easy, easy. All I have to do, I have my median one, which is my video clip from the edit page, and it goes to media out. So that's going to be set up once you jump into Fusion here. Now, in order to make this little window, here's what we're going to do. We want to grab this guy right here, and you've got two ways you can add it. We can click on it, and it's just going to drop it down there in uh, our node area. And a node, if you're a little confused about that, it's just instructions for a change, right? So we're going to tell it right now, make the box that goes around the video clip. That's all we're going to tell it. You can add it by just clicking on, you know, the icon right there. Or if I just click on this and I use my backspace or delete key to get rid of it, I can select my clip or my median one, and then I can click on my little rectangle and it's going to automatically link them up for us. Now in my viewer up here, you can see that it's cropping it down quite a bit, right? And that's not what we want. Now, if you don't see anything in your viewer over here on the right hand side, what you need to do is come on down to your media out and you see there's two little buttons down there, right? Two little white buttons. Well, if you use your keyboard number one and number two, that's going to show you whatever video you want in either the number one viewer on this side or the number two viewer on the right hand side. So in this case, if I press number two, it turns it off. If I press number two again, it turns it on. So it's showing me this node in the viewer. So with my rectangle here, I want to select it. And now I can see my rectangle right here appear in my right hand viewer. So I need to make some adjustments, right? Because it's not the right size. There's a few ways that you can adjust it. We can come here and just drag it, drag it, click on it and drag it, right? And change the size. Or we can do it over here in our inspector area. So we can just drag this guy up drag this guy out. And what I like to do is because I want it to be the full size of my screen, I'm just going to press in number one for the width and number one for the height. And that means it's going to essentially be 100% of your frame. We're almost done already. The next thing I do is just the corner radius here, and I'm just going to click on that and drag it in. And if we take a look at the corner of our video here, you can see it starts to bend those corners in and you can make it whatever size you want. You want it to be oval shape there. You could do that. I usually just drag it in a little bit like that. And typically for my videos, I'm also going to reduce the width a little bit because I don't need it this wide. I'm going to shrink that guy down a little bit just so it takes up less space on the screen. So I'm going to come back into my width right here and I'm just going to make it a little bit narrower. Let's say I like it like that. That looks good. That's it. You're done. You can leave it here if you want or little bonus tip. If you want to just add a little something extra, I like to throw a drop shadow on this guy. So in order to do that, I'm going to come back and select my median one here. And then I'm going to use my shift and space bar. And that brings up a whole list of all the nodes that we can add. So for that little extra drop shadow flare we want to put in there, I'm just going to search down here for drop shadow. I say drop. There it is. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click add. And it's going to add it right into my line of nodes. I didn't have to add it in. It did it automatically because I had this median one selected. So now you can see right up here, you can see the drop shadow on the edge of my clip. And then in the inspector here, you can change, you know, do you want it to be darker or lighter, change the drop to, or the angle, the distance, that kind of stuff. You've got options there on to, you know, making it look the way that you want it to look. But that's it. Now we're done. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to jump back into the edit tab right here. And now in order to get this to go down to the corner of the screen, 
we have the shape that we want. So to do the rest of the positioning, you can do it right here in the edit tab. You don't even have to do it in Fusion. So I can select my clip, come on up, grab my inspector. And now I'm just gonna size this up or down and I can put it wherever I want by using my tools in the inspector here. Another way you can do it, just click on this guy right here, the transform guy. And now I can just visually transform it however I want, right? So I would come down and shrink it down. I usually do uh, about, about maybe that size, maybe a little bit smaller, right? I can put it down there. That looks pretty good. And if we wanted to make sure that it sits on top of another clip, well, I'm gonna come down to my video track. I'm gonna move it up a track by either clicking, holding and dragging it up. Or if you wanna make sure it goes straight up, use your option key on a Mac or alt key on a PC and your arrows, boom, it's gonna just pop it right up a track for you. Make sure it goes straight up vertically. So let's say I just grab this little clip here of, uh, of, a, of a countdown. And now if I play through it, I'm just gonna mute my audio so you don't hear it. But if I play through it, there's my video. It's right on top of the track, right? And if I stop it, we can even see the little drop shadow down here happening. And that's it, it's super easy. And this is how I make the little window on my videos all the time. It's really quick and really easy. So here's a little bonus tip for you. Let's say I'm making my tutorials or my video and I have myself in a little frame like this. Well, before I make any cuts, I know there's parts of my video where I want this little square of me, you know, me in a square. I want it in like a whole bunch of parts of the video, right? But when I make my tutorials, I also, you know, slide back up the screen, I slide back down. So it just kind of creates a little more visual interest. So how do you do that? It's quick and easy, check it out. So what I do is I'll have my whole clip and I'll create this effect on the entire clip. But let's say I get to a point like uh, right here. Let's just say, for example, I'm gonna make a cut. And then let's say I come to here and I make another cut. And now I want this part, right, to go back up to full size, right? I don't want it to be in the little square. Well, what I would do is I would just select my clip. I would come to my inspector. In the transform section, I would reset everything. And then now you notice I still have the corners on there, right? And that's not really how I want it to look, right? So how do I get rid of the corners? Easy, just jump back into Fusion for your one particular clip. And you've got two things you can do. You can either select the nodes that you want to delete and hit your delete key or backspace key like that. Or what I like to do, because sometimes I might want to add it back in, what I'll do is I'll just disconnect them, right? So if you hold your shift key and then just click and drag on one of the nodes, it's just going to disconnect it, right? And I can do that with both of them and I can leave them there like that. And now you see up here in our viewer, I've got the full window there. And if I ever want to put the effect back onto this clip, the nodes are already there. All I have to do is drag them back on. And to do that, you could just, for example, click your drop shadow, hold your shift key, hover it over to the line, let go, boom, there it goes. Rectangle, click my little square guy here, drag it to your median one, boom, there we go. And now that effect is applied to that clip again. But in this case, I'm just gonna disconnect them like I already said. And if you did wanna delete them, no problem. You can just window select both of them, hit your delete key, boom, they're gone. You don't even have to worry about them. So jumping back into the edit tab, now how do you make it go from this, right, the little guy in the corner here, to the big one, but have it not pop back up, right? Maybe you want a little transition in there. So here's the tip that I use on how to do that. I'm going to come to my effects library, video transitions, and I've created some custom transitions, a slide up and a slide down, but it's really easy. All you got to do is come to the slide up and slide down transitions. So right here we have slide up. So I'm going to come and put that right on my transition there. Now here by default, I think, I don't know how many frames it is, but here's what it looks like by default. And for me, that was a little slow. So I like to speed it up a little. So I'm gonna come here and speed up my transition. I'm gonna make it 12 seconds. I mean, sorry, 12 frames, 12 frames. And now here's what that looks like. Boom, slides right up. And then you can do the same thing to slide down. Just use the slide down transition. We've got slide down right here. Gonna drop it on my clip. Gonna shrink it down a little bit. 12 frames, almost said seconds there, 12 frames. And here's what it looks like sliding from our full video back down to the little video. So that's it guys, real easy to create this cool effect here in Fusion. You don't have to be scared of Fusion, just take it step by step. And this is one of the things I gotta work on this year. I really wanna get in there a little more, learn some more. I'm gonna be checking out some of my fellow DaVinci Resolve YouTubers to learn Fusion a little bit better and just continue to learn more about the program, how to do all these different things because there's just so much to know. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of daunting sometimes, let's be honest. But hey, we got a whole year, 2023 here where we can figure out all this stuff, learn together and, uh, that's about it, guys. Easy Fusion tutorial here. Let me know what you think. Did you like this kind of video? Do you want to see more basic stuff like this? And uh, yeah. And with that said, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. Oh, 
man, I'm kicking so I got so many light stands over here. I'm kicking everything. I got the mic stand. I'm kicking it. I got I got the other light stand. I'm kicking it. I got it. Coming up, I think, in uh, soon here, we're going to be rearranging the studio setup because I just feel like this isn't working for me anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's just not working. We got we, we to gotta, we gotta up our game or something here. So we're going to do a little basement reno, I think. I think. Anyway. All right, let's jump into Resolve. Check this out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 